told y'all already it's been some yeah, stuff wrong behind the scenes some stuff I did not want to talk about because I wasn't there you never talk on a subject that you have no idea what's going on so as you can see you got Mel Love on the Mac box he's talking telling y'all guys what's going on so we got him live on air right now so make sure y'all turn it up he's gonna tell y'all exactly what's going on y'all ready y'all ain't ready let's get it set who we got online right now we good right now you need to let the people know what's going on because i didn't want to say anything you know what i'm saying no doubt, family. I appreciate it, and, you know, let me get this platform to uh, open up and let everybody know the real and what's really going on. I'm the original Mount Love, you know, and it's crazy that I'm 41 years old in my lifetime, building a legacy that I can leave behind for my family, my good friends that have been holding me down, supporting, you know, the movement. And I stopped this music for a long time, you know, and I stopped because I had to take care of my responsibilities, which is my family, my kids, and everything like that. And I was inactive for a long time. You know, I got a couple of calls, people calling me on the phone talking about, yo, my love, there's somebody else trying to be you. And I'm like, what are you talking about, you know? So, you know, friends, family calling me, talking about somebody else is trying to be Mel Love. So I'm like, yo, you already know nobody can be me because there's only one Mel Love. You know, I'm the best thing that came in people's lives since Jesus, you know? So if I'm pushing that love, I'm pushing that love and substance amongst our people, not pushing death. But at the same time, you know, I was flattered at first and I was like, all right, you know, let them, you know, do what they do. If they push in their love, hopefully they're doing a good job, you know, because I'm out here pushing that love and substance, helping my people, making sure everybody's right. I fight for everybody in the music business that's independent, because I've always been independent. A little something about my background, to back that up. I'm from the Bad Boy Camp. Yeah, I work for Sean Puffy Combs and all that, you know. I gave Biggie Smalls his name, Notorious. I ran around with Tupac. Poetic Justice, movie sets, all that. Like Queen Latifah. I did parties with Salt and Pepper at Sharkies. You know, so a lot of people know who I am in the business, you know. Um, a lot of people know I'm Mel Love. A lot of people like DJ Clue, you know. He, of all people, how dare he allow Meek Mills and some other guy by the name of Mel Love perpetrate the fraud and act like they me. And he didn't say nothing, so I'll see him and talk to him on the one-on-one face-to-face because they know me. Funk Master Flex know me, you know? At the end of the day, it's like I do a lot of things for a lot of these industry artists that want to be industry. I'm not industry. I don't care about the industry. I'm me, you know? I've been independent. I know I can get it on my own. I've been spending my own money doing everything that I ever dream and desire to do. So if I know artists that want to have that dream and desire and the passion to do what I do, then I'm all for it. And I will help you as long as you're going to help yourself at the same time. But back to the matter at hand, I love. I try to reach out to these dudes, you know, when I first found out to make sure that that guy was pushing that love and substance the same way I do because I don't want my name tarnished, all right? Right. When I found out that Meek Mills stole my lyrics, it's that I received a check in the mail from BMI. And I called BMI up and I'm like, what's this check about? And he was like, oh, uh, Meek Mill stole you, uh, a couple of lyrics from your song, Danger, you know, which is on the song, you know, um, with another guy by the name of Mel Love called Derrick Rose. So I'm like, wow. wow, okay, I didn't say nothing. I just said, all right, tell him to keep sending me my money then. Okay. You know, because I copywritten, I wrote, and I produced, and I, you know, registered my music. So that was the smart thing as far as me doing my business. Okay, right. and I had to do that because when I first did this business and I gave Biggie Smalls his name, Notorious, I didn't copyright and trademark that name. 
you know, so Puffy just took all of it, all the money, all of the credit for everything, you okay, know, wait, wait, wait. that I had people wait, to Mel Love, me. Mel Love, before you yes. even finish, do you think that Puffy, P. Diddy, Sean Combs, took your name and basically gave it to Meek Mills for his artist? Uh, basically, in I your opinion. Like it. I, uh, honestly, I feel like it, you know, because simple fact is I don't understand how people of that caliber can have all that money and still thinking about now love, link to link, the movement you want to move with, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I managed to cheat that black rob and all that, you know what I mean? I called out the Puffy and asked him for a helping hand so we can get cheat that by the jail, but that man never called me back, so he want to splurge and show off like he got all the money in the world and Forbes and stuff, but he's not real at all. He's fake. And I'm tired of fake people running around this industry acting like they doing something for real and they taking care of people's families. You're not. And I'm tired of you lying. So if anything, you can call me up at 201-282-7634 like I've been giving your number, my number out. So y'all can reach me. I didn't have, I didn't hear nothing from nobody at all. That's why I'm saying all those dudes is fake. All that they talk about, the music business fabricating like they real, like they really get money. If you really get money, take care of your responsibilities. I'm the realest dude that you ever had on your team, and you know that. But you always want to cut me out of all the videos. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Don't want to put me a part of nothing that's going on in the industry because I tell the truth. And I am the truth. And so help me God. That's how I roll. Godspeed. So these dudes are fake. And I keep it real. And I tell them to their face. And they know that. But I'm not here trying to fight with nobody or nothing like that. I just want it to be known that I am Mel Love. It's documented. I have proof. I'm 41 years old. These dudes is not like me. I'm out here helping people, feeding the homeless. You know, you got people that's younger than me talking about, yo, I made up the name, I did this place. And you ain't even reaching. I, I can't, it's like, wow, I'm, I'm pissed off about it now that I'm talking about it. But then I have to fall back and not really get these uh, people to get me out of my character because, like I said, I'm really love and I'm here to help everybody. You know, so at the end of the day, I just wish these dudes would call me on the phone so we can do what we got to do. You got Meek Mills, Fake and Jacks talking about he write his own stuff. You don't write your own stuff if you're in the studio stealing my lyrics and I got a check <laughs> from BMI that keep on coming to my house for the lyrics that you stole from me. So please, family, keep it real with yourself, you know? Be yourself, because everything else is taken out here. I'm tired of y'all fabricating, lying, talking about y'all really getting it. If you really getting it, then give me all my money that y'all owe me, because at the end of the day, I push Meek Mills too. I help them. I have mad proof that I help them. Mm -hmm. And just look at the records. Look at my Facebook page. Anybody can go up there and look at all the pictures that's on there and look back at the dates that I pushed these dudes, and not once these dudes said thank you, link to link, Mel Love for helping pushing my records, y'all all blow up, y'all throw your L's up in your videos and all that stuff, but y'all don't come see me, y'all don't send me my money that y'all owe me, dog. you know what I mean, so really keep it real, and when I see y'all face to face, y'all y'all don't say nothing, I don't say nothing to none of y'all either, because I don't need none of y'all. At the end of the day, like I said, I'm not industry. I'm a real individual. BMF, link the link for life. That's it. And these dudes know who I am. I know all of them. Puff Daddy know who I am. Kirk Burroughs know who I am. Andre Harrell know who I am. I'm from the beginning of oh. history. I'm in the history books. All Everybody right. around me know me. Mel Love. Don't try to steal my name, Mel Love. Stop stealing my songs and stop stealing. At the end of the day, if you need help, just ask. I'm a given person. All you have to do is ask. Okay, Mel Love, I got another I question for you. Link to link. <laughs> Mel Love, can you hear me? Yes, I can. I have another question for you. You know 50 Cent took someone else's name. You know Rick Ross took someone else's name. So my thing is, the people that had their names stolen, you know, they made them pay. So are you going to follow suit just like the rest of them, you know, and, and put course. it in? My lawyer's on it right now because, you know, 
Um, he, he already knows exactly what to do, but at the same time, like I said, I was flattered about it, but I don't want them using my name at the end of the day. I'm a living legend out here doing what I got to do to make sure my foundation is right, you know what I mean? And I'm not going to allow somebody to be spitting that bip 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 and you can't understand the guy, <laughs> you know what I mean? You can't understand none of that. Talk, speak, use your words, you know? There's more that you can do out here. Get back. And you shall receive. You will be blessed. Okay, I have one more question for you. You know how the industry is going right now, and you know that it's a lot of um, arguments and, and and war. Are you um, preparing yourself for the battle? I'm not saying physical, but really it's like a mental thing that might be going on along with the legalities of it. But my question to you is, are you ready? Because you know you're going ready, up against me. I'm ready for anything that come my okay. way. Because God blessed me. He anointed me with the gift to do everything that I do and I believe in. So I'm not worried about these demons and devils doing what they got to do. You know, I will smack them with the hand and the wrath of God. They can't touch me. God speed, link to link, and I keep everything 100%. That's how we moving out here. So I'm not worried about these demons and devils doing what they have to do. They're not trying to, um, going to use me for a publicity stunt. And another thing, 50 Cent, stop it. You did not write the lyrics for G-Dev, all right? Okay, my, my family okay. Wrote his own lyrics. So okay. I'm not, like I said, I'm tired of all these dudes trying to act like they wrote or they doing stuff out here. Y'all didn't do nothing. Okay, stop I got... My love, I got a question for you. Um, you're saying the um, thing about 50 Cent, you're allegedly telling people that he wrote g Depp music. My thing is this. You know that 50 Cent destroyed careers. You know, he did it. You had B destroying careers, and now you got Meek Mills walking around destroying careers. Like I said to you, are you really ready? And then you got to think... Um, such thing as being blackboard you know how it is the industry is grimy you have to have the heart for it you have to be willing to stand up for it and i keep asking are you ready because you know that after you get off air right now you have opened up a can of worms in a sense i did not want to tell your story i wanted you to tell the story my thing is this if you going on with this you have to make sure that you are good with it because you know you don't want this to be one of those physical battles that's going to take a lot out of you and you know your um what you're doing as well so i'm um, i'm asking are you strategizing what are you going to do not just legally because i hear what you're saying and i understand but the people are out there listening saying you know well what is he really going to do because you're going up against people that basically they're loaded and they could just say here's fifty thousand dollars just shut up you know what i'm saying how you gonna handle I'm that doing it. I'm, I, like i told you god got me you know what i mean i don't have to sign contracts with the lord i'm not selling my soul to the illuminati i'm not doing none of that you know what i mean like i said i move god's speed i've been living 41 years of my life on this planet earth doing the truth moving the truth Telling the truth about everything I do. I have proof. The proof is right there. So at the end of the day, I'm not going to run around and lie. I'm going to keep on telling the truth. And I am ready. Okay. Physically so and mentally, and I'm ready for anything that's going to come at me. I'm ready for those devils and demons to do what they got to do. Like I said, God had already put his angels around me already. I am good. Okay. I'm not worried about it. All right. You know what I mean? So I'm prepared. I'm ready. I hear Meek Mills talking, talking about he write his own stuff, and he got a bag on the other male love. So make it worth my while, family. What are we doing this at? Madison <laughs> Square Garden, Radio City Music Hall. All right, now. Play Center. Come on. Name your place and your spot. I'm ready, family. We can do it. Liverpool, whatever. I can do it. The rapping, I can do it singing, I can do it doing beats, I can edit, move, uh, whatever. How you want to do this in the industry, I can do it. As far as being blackballed, like I said, I'm not scared of the industry. I'm not the industry. Actually, I made the industry. Just ask Puffy. Okay. Look, uh, look at my work. My work speaks for itself. Ain't Puffy and them still doing what they're doing to this day? Okay. I gave them that. The blueprint. Mel Love, Link the Link. I have proof of all this. 
Okay, on that note. No coffee combs, no that. Okay, on that note, what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this up. And we're going to bring you on at a later date to see what's going on with what you're doing right now, if that's okay with you. All right, now I'm chilling. I'm on tour right now. I'm on my way to another state, to another state, to another state. I'm on a roll right now. All right. So, so y'all can reach me anytime. You know what I mean? All right. Give Once me my song, Danger. So y'all go out there and listen. Please keep on supporting. Because I'm definitely supporting all the artists out there. That's why I tune into the Mac Mommy Show. Because I listen to everything. Okay, so let the people know where they can find you at to follow you and all that good stuff. Right now, you can hit me up on 100percentrecords.com. Mel Love, uh, you can go to facebook.com forward slash Mel Love NYC. You can go to IG, DJ Mel Mix, link to link. Bookings at gmail.com or just hit me up and call me anytime. I answer my phone. I'm real. 201-282-7634. Anytime. Okay, on that note, we're going to wrap it up. Thanks so much for coming through, letting the people know what's going on on the real. Catch me in Oklahoma City. Catch me in Arizona. I'm out here. All right, people. That's it. There you have it, folks. You got Mel Love live.